In the past seven years, I've tested hundreds of red light therapy devices. I've interviewed dozens of leading experts and I've answered thousands of questions. And here's what I wish I knew. Here's all the things I've learned over that time. Think of red light therapy devices as tools in a workshop. Every single tool has a particular purpose. Some tools allow you to do many things. And it's the same with red light devices. A specialist device to help with your skin and beauty, let's say a red light therapy mask, is going to have a lot of different properties to say a handheld laser to help with your knee. The wavelengths are going to be different. The form factor is going to be different. The power output is going to be different. Some products are going to require contact. The tricky thing is with red light therapy, it's still hard to determine what is exactly the best wavelength, the best power, the best way to use a product for a goal. And this is why I always say don't rely on one single source of truth or information, including myself. Whether you're looking at contact versus non-contact, LEDs versus lasers, high power versus low power, there's a school of thought to support each claim. And this is why you do see a lot of different products out there. So for you, the most important thing you need to do is decide what you're trying to achieve and then narrow your focus and research around that.